Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. So this is New Year and we are in 2023 officially now. So this is the first video. Let's start. What I'm doing here is uh, my mold is by Molds and Shape. And I am using acrylic ink here and it's the color green. So you can take any acrylic ink you want. So please note that this is not acrylic paint. This is acrylic ink. So this is my first color. And I am using a low viscosity resin here. And my second color is white and it's titanium white by Just Resin. And I'm using ultra cast low viscosity resin by Alichem. So I'm making sure it's been mixed thoroughly. So starting off with my acrylic ink mixed resin, I'm, I will be making an outline. So for my mica pad, I am using this Dragon Gold and it's by Resonate. So what I'm doing here is I am mixing this mica into the same container in which I mixed my acrylic ink one. So it's uh, getting a hint of that green shade as well. So here I'm mixing it. Yeah, it's getting a bit messy here, but don't worry, I will wipe it. So here I am pouring this mica mixed resin on the top of the green. So whenever I make a green coaster, any shade of green, it's so soothing to eyes and uh, please do let me know also that you think the same way because green is such a beautiful color. So now I am pouring my white. And after that, in the center, I am pouring my clear resin. So trying to scoop out as much resin I can and with my torch I am blowing the bubbles that are on the top so you can see that the ring is almost so lovely but I got some of this white patches here so please do let me know if any of you know that why this happens And for the center part, I am using this gold foil. It is a combination of copper and gold. And 
and after adding this foil i am adding these tiny beads and they are golden nuggets and now i will let it cure so this is the next day and let's see how it turned out and i got this small circle here i tried to fix it but it was not fixing that circle was happening again and again so i don't know why it is what's the reason is so yeah what i was talking about that patches it do appear in the coaster so again please do let me know if any of you know why this happens so i might try to avoid next time otherwise the coaster has turned out really pretty and this is the design i was going for by the way i got this cute snail what do you think about it so what i wanted to do here is that you might have seen this mold circulating on instagram so i couldn't find the mold so what i did here is i just took out the print and this is actually a wooden base uh, that's uh, meant for making baskets and you can do the weaving on them so i am going to make my own diy holes here and i'm just marking so after marking i will be drilling the holes by myself So this is how I turn out after the drilling. So what I'm doing here is I will be doing a top coat first. And now I leave it to cure after doing the top coat. So this is the next day and my so top coat here I cured. found this needle in a craft kit. And I thought I am really intelligent for using this. So here I'm using this needle and it got stuck. So yeah, it's the plan failed. So originally I need to do it by hand and this was time consuming because I am not a weaver and so yeah it was something that took a lot of time but again I was really looking forward to how it turned out. So the second thing that was giving me problem is the gloves. So you can simply do this style all around the coaster but I wanted to do a bit of the chain style. And so now yeah, I, I think it's the easy to do this way. So then I found this copper wire and I made a needle myself. So this was much easier to do. So what I did here is I used this copper wire and made my own DIY needle.
yeah it was again a bit time consuming here but again i am telling you that you need if you want to make something unique you have to work hard so that's what i'm doing here so i'm just turning it into a coaster here not any basket but if you are a weaver or you know how to crochet it uh, you can make a basket out of this coaster and it will be working as a base or you can make a basket and this can be a lid so yeah there are many tutorials available on youtube so i'm getting there and it's about to end now just doing the last bits So now I am about to close it. So in the end I just made some knots because this is an organza ribbon. So I got fairly very little knots. Just cutting off the extra ribbon here. So this is all done, just doing the cleaning up now and I really love how cute it turned out. So this is the final look. So I hope you like it and this is something really different. So what you can do here is if you like to make your own molds after doing the uh, drilling, you can make mold out of it and you can make multiple coasters like this. So this was an idea I just wanted to throw out something different out there and again it's really a fun and lovely technique. So I hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share and thank you so much and for your I am really back on my few videos regarding the length of the video. On so making thumbs up if you like the YouTube. video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and take very good care of yourself. And I hope this new year will bring good luck, positive energy and good vibes for you. Take care. Bye-bye.